Hiya, 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 hiya. Tonight I'm going to teach you some basic tricks regarding the trigonometry of um, some basic right angle triangles. So I've started out by tracing out a circle that has a unit uh, radius. So I've labeled the radius as equal to 1. And what I want to do is I want to find the sine and cosine of uh, these right angle triangles for a few of the common angles that you have to deal with in your math class. Now math teachers kind of probably have taught you uh, different tricks. I'm going to teach you what I think is the simplest way to remember these. Um, you can agree with me if you don't, but I think it's the easiest way to learn this. Okay. Uh, the first thing you have to remember is, uh, since I'm dealing with a unit circle, uh, that the opposite length will be the directly will be the sine value of the angle theta, and um, the adjacent side will be the cos of the angle theta. Okay. So now all we have to do is, if I want to write some of the common angles that you typically have to deal with, I'm going to write a chart for angle of the right angle triangle. Now everything I'm doing here applies to the first quadrant. However, you can easily extend this to other quadrants and it might switch some of the signs of uh, the cos and sine values, but it's pretty straightforward to do. Okay, and now the angles that I want to consider are simple. I want to consider the angle zero where there is no triangle. Um, the angle 30, that's common, the angle 45, the angle 60, and also do 90. Okay, so all you have to do in order to know the sine of any of these angles, um, you do have to memorize one thing. And I'm going to plot that out in just a second here. And then we'll have to fill out this chart. Okay, so here's our chart, and before I fill out the chart, I do want to box something up. I'm going to box up our magic formula, which is the square root of something uh, divided by 2. So that's the formula you need to remember, and once you've memorized this, square root of something divided by 2, uh, you'll be able to know the sine and cosine of any of these angles uh, within a matter of seconds. Okay. So in order to fill out the uh, bracket for the sine of the angle theta, all you have to do is uh, just count. Okay. Zero. One, two, three, four. And if I want to know the cosine of the angle theta, you also simply have to know how to count to four. And it's zero, one, two, three, four. So for cosine, you kind of do it in reverse, and for sine, you do it um, just in the right order. And now all these numbers tell you, the numbers in the bracket would tell you which angle would I plug into uh, the magic formula here. The magic formula is square root of something uh, divided by 2. So if I want to know the sine of uh, the angle 30, okay, so sine of the angle 30, all I have to do is plug in the 1 into the magic formula. It's square root of 1 divided by 2, uh, which is simply equal to 1 half. Okay, you notice in this formula that sine of 30 is also the cosine of 60 degrees, right? Cosine of 60 degrees, I'd plug in the 1 into our magic formula down here, and cosine of 60 degrees is also equal to 1 half. Uh, which other ones do we know? Well, I know that the sine of 60 degrees uh, should be equal to uh, the cosine of 30 degrees. And that's simply, you plug in the 3 into our magic formula and you get the square root of 3 over 2. Uh, the other thing you notice, that sine of 45 is equal to cos of 45. Sine of 45 equals cos of 45. And that you simply plug in our value of 2 uh, into this magic formula, so it's square root of 2 divided by 2. All right, there you have it, folks. There's a simple trick to remember the sine and cosine of uh, basic 
uh, right angle triangles in the first quadrant. Uh, once you know the sine and cosine values, you can easily tabulate what the uh, tangent of the angle theta equals for any of these uh, right angle triangles. Um, it's pretty straightforward, okay? Hope that helps.